Okay, wait. So this is a carrying case, a gun, and a sword? What is this guy, like James Bond or something? Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider Decade DX Ride Booker. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front there, you have the Ride Booker, you have Decade about to draw a card and do some awesomeness. It does include one card. Up top here, you have all three modes. You have Decade about to shoot somebody's face off. On the bottom, again, you have all three modes, and Decade about to slash somebody's face off. On this side of the box, we have Decade all like, yeah, I have a weird-looking gun, what about it? On the other side of the box, he's like, yeah, I got a weird-looking sword, what about it? On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that, and the other. And, of course, you get Sir Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along here, we have the Ride Booker. So, not only is this what uh, Decade stores all of his cards in, but this is also his main weapon. So, it is a means of storage. It is a gun and... And a sword, all in one nice, neat little package. Isn't that just wonderful? So, <laughs> let's get in close. Yes, you can see the details. You can see right there, you have the Decade logo in pink. Um, the toy is cast in black plastic. Any other color is painted on. Uh, the silver right here is very nicely done. That nice Bandai silver. As you can see, and the white trim is painted. Uh, the barrel of the gun, that is molded in silver plastic. So that's the only thing that's not molded in black. Um, you have this green right here, nice metallic green. Right there. Uh, for the handle, you do get some texture, which is nice. Nice little rough texture there. You got the speaker right here. A little bit of texture right here. That's your release button. Um, on the back... You have your on-off switch, your battery compartment takes uh, two AAAs, and they also painted the back, which is very nice, and I always appreciate that, so you do get that nice Bandai silver and the white trim, and right here is your clip for the holster, and of course you got some screw holes and whatnot, and that's pretty much it for the outside of this toy. Now it does include a little holster right here, which is cast in silver plastic, and there's some some details molded in. And how this works is you just take this right here, line it up sideways, and when you straighten it out, that locks it into place. And then you can take it, let me raise the camera a bit here. You can take this and hook it over the belt of your Decca driver. And there you have that. So, there you go. That's how that works. Right there. So I'll just remove this for the rest of the review because we're not going to need it. Now uh, included is one card. You get the slash card. And you have Decade with a sword. There's the back of the card. Right there. Attack ride. And uh, we'll bring the Decca driver back in. So we can hear the noise that this makes in the driver. Just take it, drop it in. Attack Raido DK. Now it just gives you a generic noise. It's supposed to say slash, but uh, that's the way it works in the DX belt. So, there you have that. We'll move that back off to the side here. And there you go. There's your slash card. So let's continue on with the noises that the ride booker makes. So you have your on off switch right here. Turn it on and you get a little familiar noise there. And now you're ready to go. So now to open up the ride booker, there's a release button right here. So you push that and you can open this up. And now you can see all the detail on the inside right here. You got the uh, Decade logo. Mold it in, which is very nice. 
And there you go. Now this can store up to 25 cards, which for me is perfect because it can store all the cards that I have anyway. So you have this compartment right here. And uh, if you have the super best uh, DECA driver, as I have, then you have 20 cards right here. And you can take all 20 of these cards and they will fit comfortably right in here. And then you just take this little tab here Move it in, that will hold them in place, and there you go. And it holds those 20 cards in place. And you also have this slot right here. Just open up this compartment, and you can slide your other cards right behind this panel right here. And you can store five cards in here. Honestly, you can, you can store four cards in here comfortably. Putting a fifth card in here is kind of pushing it. I mean, I'll just pull a... Uh, What's this? One, two, three. I'll pull out four cards from this side here. And um, I'll just put in another three right now. So, right there. Four cards. Fits nice and comfortably. When you try to put a fifth card in there, you're kind of having to... You're, you're, you're kind of having to shove that in there a bit. It'll it'll fit, but it's it's a little too snug for my taste. But altogether, you can fit up to 25 cards in here, which, like I said, is perfect for me because these are all the cards I have, so I can store them all in here. Of course, if you have all of Decade's cards, then this is not going to be enough for you, but it works perfectly for me. <laughs> so, there you have... Hey, hey, we weren't trying to do that yet. How dare you? How dare you? So, just slide this back in here. Close that back up. And there you go. So yeah, basically this is the side where Decade will uh, draw his cards from. So you have your card ready. Close that panel up. And when you're ready to go, you just pull the card up. And you get that drawing noise. And basically what the card is doing is it's just hitting this button. Right here. You can hit it with your finger. Right there. And of course, you know, you can... Let me take these cards back out. You can keep multiple cards in there, so you can draw... Shut up! You can <laughs> draw multiple times, if you wish. So, draw that one, draw another one, and there you go. It's a little bit awkward, but it works nonetheless. Now, this card is not like the uh, Super Best Edition cards. This is a cardboard card, so do be careful with it. You don't want to bend it up and fray the edges, so do exercise a bit of care with this card. But, um, yeah. Shush! Shush, I say. So, there you have that. And then we'll just... What happens here? Oh, there we go. Sorry. I want to put them in order, okay? I want to put them in order! Okay. Yeah, that. Well, actually, technically... Well, anyway, whatever. <laughs> it's not really in order, but whatever! I won the cage card up front, okay? That's all I'm saying. But anyway, so now we'll get on to the weapon mode. So to go to gun mode, you're just going to hold this button right here, push it down, and you bring this out. One click, and there you go. Gun mode. Hooray. It's a weird looking gun, but there it is. <laughs> and to get your gun noises, you want to hold the trigger down. So when you hold it, That's it. <laughs> and it will go on forever as long as you hold that button down. And there you go. <laughs> and that's pretty much what it does in gun mode. That, that's all you're going to get. Now to move on to sword mode, you're going to hold the button down and bring the handle out the rest of the way. So this black line matches up, and then you're going to come here, and you'll see there's a little tab here you can grab onto. You want to flip out this section right here, and then you just flick out the blade, boom, and there you have the ride booker in sword mode. And yes, this is the dinkiest thing ever. It's just, that's like, oh my god, what, what, what is this? What is this little thing? I mean, if you look at the picture on the box, we have to get the box up off the floor. Excuse me for a second. Come back here, box. I need you. I need you. I'm sorry I threw you. I need you more than ever. But if you look 
on the picture on the box here, you can see just how long this blade is supposed to be. But of course, this is a kid's toy and it has to work in real life and can, it has to work within the confines of the toy itself. So obviously the blade's not going to extend to like five times the length it's supposed to, but yeah, no, it's, it's not it yet. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Get out of here. <laughs> I have an abusive relationship with boxes. <laughs> I need you, but I'm going to throw you again. <laughs> I have problems. Anyway, <laughs> you can see here, this bit right here does have that, uh, that little texture and molding to it. On the blade itself is that soft plastic right here. So there's some flex to it. And uh, yeah. So for sword noises, instead of holding down the trigger, you're just going to tap it. And there you get your slash noise. You can rapid fire. And there you go. And if you hold the trigger down, you'll get the gun noise again. And that's basically how this works. You know, so if you go back into gun mode and you just tap the button, you'll get the sword slash noise. So it doesn't recognize what mode it's in. It's just based on whether you tap or hold down the trigger. So that's how that works, and that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's basically all this toy does right there. So there is your ride booker. So we'll just fold this back up, back into its nice, nice, neat little package. There you go, the ride booker. Hooray! <laughs> and yeah, that that literally is it. So um, pretty neat. I mean, I. The one thing I do appreciate about this is that it does provide storage for your cards. And like I said, it works perfectly for me because this is everything I have. So I love it. <laughs> I have somewhere to put all my cards, which I like. Um, the gun mode, like I said, is weird. The sword mode is weird. Um, you know, you don't get a lot by way of noises, but, you know, it does what it's supposed to do. And, you know, you get the little clip here so you can hang it off the side of your belts. Just like on the show. And yeah, I mean, it's neat. It's not the greatest role play toy ever, but like I said, it does what it needs to do. And I still appreciate it nonetheless. So there you have that. Now I picked this up from Mondorake. Um, I actually found this dirt cheap on Mondorake. You can find a lot of common Rider and Super Sentai stuff for good prices on Mondorake. I'll put a link to their site down in the description down below. And uh, yeah, you can also check out my Decade playlist for any reviews you may have missed. That will also be linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And you can also check out BigBadToyStore.com. They do carry some Kamen Rider items, mostly figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out, there'll be a link to their site in the description down below as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Kamen Rider DK DX Ride Booker, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Pom in your face.